Okay, this video is just to show you how to check for fuel pressure on a 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler or JK body style with a 3.8 liter V6. Um, if you have a later 3.6 liter V6, that's probably going to be a different setup. But on this vehicle, like on a lot of new cars nowadays, there is no Schrader valve to check for fuel pressure. So what you have to do is... Um, Right there, that 90 degree elbow, that is the factory quick connect fitting. And it goes to right where that, that green clip is, right next to the throttle body here. It connects to that line right there. So that's where you have to disconnect it. Um, it's a plastic clip you have to remove. It's pretty delicate. In my case, it did break. So I'm gonna have to find a replacement for it. But to show you how I had this set up, and that's why I had a zip tie right there too, to take place of that plastic clip. But from an, I got this at the parts store, uh, Dorman part number 800-159. It's a double bead fuel line kit. It comes with both a 5 16 and a 3 8 line. Uh, in this case, what you need is the 5 16 line. You can see it right there, that long silver tube. Um, and a 3 8 line is still in the package here. But you can see, you know, that double bead line, that 5 16 line, it clicks right into that elbow right there. And I had it zip tied, or um, yeah, zip tied, <laughs> clamped to this 3 8 hose. And that goes to this T fitting. This T fitting is part of a fuel pressure gauge kit. Um, you can readily find these on uh, Amazon or um, even loan it out from your local parts store. But So that's just a, a brass uh, T fitting. And then you can see I have, in my case, you could clamp that rubber hose to the line, to the uh, factory fuel line. But in my case, I had a quick connect fitting laying around, so I had a clamp to the hose here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you can see it goes to fuel pressure gauge. And the fuel pressure gauge, the spec is 58 PSI plus or minus 2 PSI. Now, mind you, again, that's for a 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler with a 3.8 liter. Uh, in my case, I don't have the engine running now because I'm actually trying to troubleshoot a um, random misfire. But in the case of this engine, it was rock steady at about 58 PSI, maybe 59 PSI. So that's perfect. Um, but I would say, you know, specs should be between 56 and 60 PSI. That would be ideal. But yeah, hope that helps someone. Um, Again, if you have a later model Wrangler, the 3.6 liter, I believe, a V6 that replaced this 3.8 liter, I'm sure it's going to have a different fuel line set up. So this will probably not apply to you.